Hi, this is Joy with Obsessed with Scrapbooking, and today we are going to use the Close to My Heart Art Booking Cricut cartridge to make our own background paper. First, we cut this honeycomb at 11 inches from the Art Booking cartridge. Then we're going to use some repositionable stick and spray to spray that honeycomb background, and we're gonna use the honeycomb stamp set to, to make our paper. First we stick this down, we've sprayed it with that repositionable spray, and then we're just gonna start with the stamping. I'm using a variety of ink colors from close to my heart. Um, I'm using honey, ruby, sunset, saddle, topiary, and outdoor denim, which is the blue. So I'm, and I'm just basically using a variety of the close to my heart inks with those different stamps these different hexagon shaped stamps that came in the honeycomb stamp set and they all have different designs and what I'm planning to do here is stamp all these out and then at the end I'm going to lift up that green overlay it's going to get lifted up and then we should have nicely um, laid out hexagons to make our background paper so all along here you'll just see me stamping I'm sorry that my head keeps getting in the way um, it's very hard to stamp without putting your head over the top of it so I apologize just want to let you guys know that so yep 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 so I just continue to go along stamping on my way um, replacing the different stamps on there and one thing I wanted to point out you can see there's a black um, it doesn't look, you can't tell if it's paper or what it is. That's actually a black mat. It is the back side of the Versa mat. You know, that mat you usually see me have with the numbers on it. Well, if you turn it over, it acts as a stamp pad, um, you know, like a nice stamping surface. So, um, that's a handy little trick. <laughs> it's kind of nice. I don't often turn it over, but I thought it would be a good idea for this project since it was so large. So as you can see, I'm just kind of wrapping it up here, and then I'm going to go ahead and trim this down. I'm going to put this on a five inch by five inch card. I'm going to trim it down to four and a half by four and a half, and I'm going to mount that on a piece of cream color cardstock that is four and three quarters by four and three quarters. So that's kind of the sizing we're looking at here. Um, I just kind of made it here. You'll see. Yay, I pull all that off and it's perfect. That turned out really, I was pretty happy with how that turned out. Um, wasn't sure how this all was going to shake out, so I was happy. So here's a quick measurement. I'm cutting this at um, four and a half by four and a half, I'm trying to pick out the parts I want. There we go. And then I also have a cream color piece I cut at four and three quarters by four and three quarters. Now I'm using my score pal to go ahead and fold my card. My It's a five inch by 10 inch piece of paper, just folding it in half to make a five inch by five inch card. And there are my layers. Next up, I cut two of these rolled flowers in red at three inches and one in orange at four inches, real dial size, and then two leaves at one inch, real dial size. And if you cannot see this, because I admit it, it's not super clear, I do have a whole video on making rolled flowers that you can look for on YouTube um, under Obsessed with Scrapping. That's the name of my channel if you are not on there right now. So what I do to do these is I like to use these Tweezer B tweezers because it holds that centerpiece really tight and then I can just spin the um, flower around and around and around as you see. Now, when I made these on this video, I was going to use liquid glass to glue the flower together. I don't typically use liquid glass. I typically use a hot glue gun. And I discovered I want to keep using the hot glue gun. <laughs> Please use the hot glue gun to put this flower together because a hot glue gun sets really fast. Otherwise, if you try to use a glue dot, that does not work. If you try to use this liquid glass, I've, I have not gotten that to work. I think other people have, so, this just might be a user error, but I have to tell you at the very end when this all, you know, I have to let go of the tweezers and I've got to glue it all together, go with the hot glue gun. It is the way to go. Um, it's the least painful way to go. Let me put it that way. So I've gone ahead and I'm going to roll um, two of these red flowers and one orange flower. I'm only showing the red flower, but you can see you roll it tight and then it comes out a little bit. It'll poof out a little bit. You don't want to let it come out too much. You'll see it kind of <laughs> spun there for a second. And then I just glue it down to that bottom piece. There's like a kind of fat bottom piece that you put that hot glue gun, hot glue on. 
All right, moving on, I'm going to stamp with a honeycomb stamp, um, the you know word art stamp that came on it that says Sweet as Honey. And I cut another piece of the paper we had made and went ahead and got that. I'm sticking that down. This is for the inside of the card. Um, and we'll mount that in there towards the very end. And now I'm just going to make my front piece, no big deal, using my Scotch ATG gun. Sometimes I um, always want you guys to know what I'm trying to use. And I have this great bronze colored shimmer tape from Close to My Heart that um, you'll see here in a second that I use. I put another strip of, I want to say that's like an inch and a half by five inches of um, that craft color. And then I stick down this shimmer tape. It's so pretty. Um, Close to my heart has it in this bronze. There's black, there's silver, and there's red. It's awesome. Um, and it's also adhesive backed, so that's kind of fun too. So I didn't have to fool with trying to put stuff on there. Had a little problems with the glue dots there. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Oops. So <laughs> sorry about that. Now I'm just trying to see how I wanted to arrange this. I'll go ahead and get that stuck down. And this time I used the liquid glass because um, that just slides right in there. And I, I, I have time to let that dry. With these flowers, they start moving. So you really don't have a lot of time to get the, you know, let those just dry on up nicely because <laughs> it starts to unravel. That's really the problem. Anyway, I hope this has been a helpful video for you guys. Um, I hope you'll consider making this background paper because really it was super simple and um, it's really kind of fun. That's another fun aspect of this cartridge. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put the inside piece. And remember this was all using the Close to My Heart Art Booking Cricut cartridge that made our hexagon background. Have a wonderful day.